I'm just going to go through the process of uh, finding the average and the standard de deviation for our arc length and position angle. And because, as we've already noticed, using the aperture radius of 3 from Astro Image J doesn't give us consistent results. So I don't think we can use that. So I'm just going to use all of the data that use an aperture radius of 2 for all of the images that we did. And so we have about five images. It turns out that going less than 0.05 seconds actually was too short of an exposure time to get useful data. We really need a larger telescope for this, for these double star pairs. They're very, very close. In any case, so I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna collect, let's see, I'm gonna copy all of these and then delete, um, I'm just gonna put them down here, paste, and then I'm just gonna delete the ones that um, are not, are not aperture two. Okay, so what I have done now is I have five different images, and you can see the image number here, 355, 356, 357, 358, 359, and I have at least five measurements from each one, and I'm just going to literally just average. So here's our position angle and our separation. I'll just put that, label those um, right there. So I'm literally just going to average those. We just equals the average average of those. Enter. Computers are so smart. And then I can actually just copy that and paste that. And I will continue to do that.